Hundreds of thousands of Rwandans fled to Uganda following the 1994 genocide that left over 800,000 Tutsi and moderate Hutus dead. Rwanda has generally been peaceful for nearly 20 years now, and many of the people who fled to Uganda as refugees during the genocide have since returned home. However, government of Uganda says there are over 14,000 Rwandans still living in Uganda as refugees. The Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees, Hilaron X, says government is considering cancelling their refugee status and instead issue them with temporary permits. We are going to turn them over to the immigration department so that their prolonged stay in Uganda will be subject to immigration laws. Because immigration laws here in Uganda, you are given a visa to stay for three months. Thereafter, you have to justify your father's stay in a country. The minister spoke during a meeting with members of the East African Legislative Assembly on the Committee of Regional Affairs and Conflict Resolution. Regional MPs were meeting Prime Minister Dr. Rwakana Rugunda, ministers and other senior officials in charge of refugees. In Kawari, I saw refugees coming from Rwanda and Congo. Around 59. But we also know that people who come as refugees end up having our IDs, national IDs as Ugandans. And I'm not surprised. So, how long do people continue to be refugees when they can easily be Ugandans? Oneke said attempts to encourage Rwandans to return home has not been easy, as men are not willing to do so. Those countries having peace, apparent peace, could be like porridge, which is called at the top, but inside. <laughs> inside the porridge can be a different thing. <laughs> and, you know, people create perception. Monek is saying, must be something we, you in East Africa should really take cognizance of. The porridge that looks cold in the surface, when underneath it, it can burn you. The Yala members are in Uganda on the fact-finding mission on the status of refugees in Uganda from the neighboring states. These, these refugees are not those who came during the genocide. Most of them came when the present RPF government is in power. So they are not conflicting, they are not running away from genocide. They are running away from the system which is in Kigali now. That's what I wanted you to know. We built him up, gave him education, he has become a powerful president. Mm. When he went back to Rwanda, what is he? He's now running a country. Better. Yeah, better and even the, correcting the on our mistakes. Because he's been here, he's seen our mistakes. <laughs> he's correcting, he's done much better there. <laughs> it should also reveal that the minister's proposal to allow Rwandans who fled to Uganda in 1950s acquire Ugandan citizenship is facing stiff resistance from some quarters. The, the argument is, why don't we now call those ones Ugandan? Because their sons and daughters are older than you, honorable member. But despite that, we still have refugees. Uh, so I just wanted to know the efforts together with the Republic of Rwanda to encourage these Rwandans to go back and build their country. Rwandan authorities recently wrote a protest letter to the Ugandan government accusing it of harboring political dissidents passing off as refugees but engaged in activities to destabilize the Rwandan government. If Uganda cancels the refugee status of the said Rwandans seen as enemies of the neighboring state, Uganda could repatriate them to Rwanda since the two countries have an extradition treaty. Jingo Francis, NTV.